This video was going to be one of my early impressions videos on the game Colonized. It still is to a point, but it shall be very brief and explain why I stopped playing after less than two hours and would absolutely refund if I didn't receive the key for free. After all, I did give a 100% guarantee that I'd cover the game and I should try to keep my promises, especially considering it affects the stuff. Uh, despite sucking at them still, somehow, I love base builders and colony sims. Colonized does not elicit joy, however. Game is in early access, so it is possible, technically, that down the line this may be improved. And if so, you're welcome for the feedback, but I hold little hope at the moment. So what do I think of the game? Poor. How much does it cost? Like 16 bucks USD? Would I pay that? Hell no. Now it's code state. Gameplay loop and content, as of now, is pretty bare. You get a map, which, as of right now, seem to only be one Roanoke. I'm not sure if they're procedurally generated or not, can't confirm. Didn't invest enough time to confirm if it not letting me select another map was just a bug, or if it they're just not available yet. You spawn in with four buildings, place where nerds eat, place where nerds sleep, place where nerds store food stuff, and place where st they store their lumber and shit. Uh, you have no control over how these initial buildings are placed. Uh, you also get a ship which isn't even connected with any paths to this little makeshift colony center. Uh, and using that, you can buy supplies, which you do start with basic supplies and some gold that you can use to buy supplies. You use these to make resource gathering buildings, resource refining buildings, and buildings to support people living, eating, etc. Like houses. Houses house a couple and up to like five kids. Kids age accelerated rate then eventually get put to work in the mines like everyone else. Only thing of note I have to say about the game are weird or generally negative things. Uh, paths can only be built from one point to another in a straight line, and the difference in walking with or without path is noticeable, which sucks because the pathfinding doesn't really bother to try and utilize these paths and walk on them instead of on just the native grass, unless they are in the straightest path from A to B. And these paths are very picky about where they will go. You have to do them one line at a time. Considering they don't cost anything, and I can delete them at will already, just give me a brush tool to put them in and remove them. It would be so much nicer, so much more convenient. Uh, as of right now, it is pretty damn annoying. Uh, building anything other than the paths... Uh, when the colonists bring all the resources over is... Get some family home set up. Jesus Christ, that sound effect is going to drill out my eardrums. Holy shit. Painful. Change that sound effect. Just replace it outright. It hurts. That's, that's my biggest recommendation. Otherwise... There isn't really anything of note that separates this game thus far from the absolute bare bones of colony sims that you would expect. No interesting interaction between colonists, no interesting events, nothing. I just... My footage was boring because I had nothing interesting to even comment on or react to, so I had to type this up and record it instead. In one take. Because I feel disappointed, and I won't do a retake for this game's sake. You got a video, like I promised, and that's it. This is already not the video I wanted to post for my return anyway. I'm working on a video of Helldivers 2 with my friends. That one's gonna be fun. Stick around for it. Peace.